The amount of bullying in schools has increased significantly over the past five years. In fact, data from the Boys and Girls Club of America shows 40% of children say they were bullied on campuses in the past year. Pre-pandemic in 2019, that number was only 26%. Well, a man in Stokes County says he believes bullying is the reason his daughter took her own life. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer sat down with him this afternoon and shares how he's hoping something positive will come out of his daughter's death. Caroline. Neil Katie, this is Callie Fagg. She was an eighth grader at Southeastern Stokes Middle School who committed suicide less than a week ago, only three days into a new school year. Her dad tells me she was a bright, artistic, and kind girl who never had trouble making friends. When she started middle school, he knew she was getting teased but never imagined it would get to this point. Now this father is working to make sure other parents don't have to experience the pain he's going through. I just don't want to see anybody else I know is, have to put their kids in the ground. Nobody should have to do that. It's a reality Jimmy Fagg never thought he'd be facing. We just wish she would have talked to us because if I'd known she was hurting as bad as she was that day, I would have never let her out of my sight. On Wednesday, Jimmy told his daughter Callie he loved her, not knowing it would be the last time. I just wish she could have seen how special she was while she was here. The eighth grader told her friends and family this was going to be her year. She had won an art competition for this painting she created. She was nearly done making her own video game. Her talent, potential, and experiences she had to look forward to are the things this father is mourning most. That's what I'm going to miss, walking her down the aisle, getting the, that father dollar dance, whether getting to go to the hospital where she had her first baby and see my grandbaby. Jimmy wishes Callie would have understood how beautiful she was before she made the decision to take her own life. But he doesn't want her death to be in vain. I don't want to see any other family go through this. I don't want to go through this. The next couple of days are going to be miserable. But I don't have a choice. Other families can if, if we can figure out a way to help them. He started the hashtag Kindness for Callie, which can be found on signs throughout Walnut Cove and in hundreds of posts online. The goal is to spread positivity and support for kids like Callie who are victims of bullying. My daughter would be tickled at the amount of people who's poured out stories about her and how she's touched them. Callie's funeral service will be Saturday afternoon at 2 at First Christian Church in Walnut Cove. I did reach out to Stokes County Schools to see if district leaders are considering changing any policies or adding programs to prevent a similar tragedy. The superintendent said in part in a statement, quote, the school administration will review and reassess policies and procedures surrounding student safety and well-being. We want to ensure that all students feel secure and protected within the school environment. Katie. Such a heartbreaking story, Caroline. Thoughts and prayers with her family and friends. I know she had so many. Thank you.